Hi people, um, today is Friday and it's like 10 p.m. That's the time. You guys can see the time on my pen. That's the time. Um, today is two days. What today? We have two days before my first event. Um, so reason also why I've not been on YouTube for a hot minute because I've been busy working, working. I uh, started my, <coughs> I really don't know what to call it, whether it's a brand business. I'm not too sure. Um, I started my, I, ca I call it my baby for now because it's still like in a very, very baby stage. Um, it's called Capri Inspired and what Capri is actually about is more focused on wellness and retreat. However, that is like long term what Capri is going to be. But in order for me to start off, I began with a, I'm launching with a creators networking event because I, I'm a creative, you know, everyone, you all know, I'm doing this because I'm a creative. So, um, our first event is called Art Meets. Um, let me show you a poster actually. Um, our first event, Art Meets, which is what is happening on Sunday. This is it. <laughs> it's so huge, but I'm not really sure you guys can see, but yeah. That is art meets is, is huge like art meets is happening on Sunday um, you guys probably will see this video after art meets has happened um, so yeah art meets is a creators networking event so it's a space where we come together we chill we collaborate we meet creators in the city of Vancouver and we just talk we have a good time over drinks good food um not good food more like snacks and um just share with each other and this is the first one i'm not doing um the timing between when i decided because our capri wasn't supposed to happen this year i was really pushing up to next year like when i graduate and figure out what i'm doing in my life but i was just like you know lucky enough just do it and just do it even though even though what you don't know when what you're doing so just do it um so the time before tonight when i decided to do it and when i put the event was the timing was literally so short and I didn't have ample time to do like promote, talk about it, whatnot. But anyway, we're here. Um, um, so I'm doing my best to promote it, doing my best to put it out there. Um, some people have bought tickets. A lot of them are my friends, and I love them. I love them, love them, love them so much. They don't even know how much that means to me because they could have chosen not to be there, and they showed up. Um, because one thing I'm learning is that this process, when something is in your head or like when you do something, in a very controlled environment or it's within your head is that's your safe space you know it's just in your head it's just cooking you have not shared it with people so it's it's very safe it's guarded you know but when it lives there when it leaves the confines of your mind and it becomes a reality you are no longer in control of how that could turn out and that not being in control is that's a learning process for me because it puts me in a very vulnerable spot of you don't know what could happen you don't know how well it could go it could be a disaster this could also be if you know i just did it one time and we call it a day and keep on moving with life you know that sort of thing um so yeah this has definitely tested my patience my resilience um and as also like even question what i'm doing as a creative i'm just like is this what i'm doing should i be doing this i'm like god you gave me this idea should i be executing it now like you know there's just a lot of questions that i generally don't even have answers to uh most of the time i'm just moving based on vibes <laughs> one and based on the spirit of God really leading me because like I said I won't be here I won't be able to do this without God even giving me the idea of doing it and also without my friends to be honest and that's what I mean it's all about community being able to have a community of people that you can rely on to be able to make the ideas that are in here into a reality so giving you a platform for you to launch a launching pad so that's what I'm trying to do and my friends have been my launching pad and I do not take that support for granted oh my god I feel like I've cried I've cried I've cried and I'm still gonna cry 
this is gonna cry i feel like i'll cry tomorrow i'll cry on sunday and this is i don't know is that time of, it's not that time of month it's just me being be, be emotional and whatnot but yeah um so i'm here just pushing that's the word pushing um and i don't know what sunday is going to be like but i'm going to make the best out of it um like which even if it's five people we're going to have the best time with those five people because well, we gotta start from somewhere if that's the truth we gotta start from somewhere um and we're pushing this ministry like i said the part of me do you know how many times i've wanted to pack this shit up <laughs> i've been thinking of like when i said like mm, okay yeah maybe we should like call it crap call it quits and just pack it up keep it cute while well, it still can be cute to avoid disgrace and embarrassment quick <laughs> um but yeah, like i said my friends have been my anchor they literally have been speaking life into me they've been keeping me going because when i tell you that the self-doubt is real the self-doubt is real and i'm yapping and yapping for too long and i don't want you to bore you guys by watching this video because this video is about to impact and like i said if i cry a lot in this video this is just me because you'll never see me cry again <laughs> but anywho um anyway yeah welcome to art meets that's what this video is going to be about art meets and <clears throat> and also welcome to capri um i think we'll uh, into in another video i'll go into how the name capri came about because i don't want to yap for too long but yeah this is also me just ranting and trying to declutter my mind and declutter my brain from everything but anywho um i hope you guys enjoyed this video um in case you're new here and i do introduce myself my name is Bari. i am a content creator and a storyteller based in vancouver um feel free to follow me on up here subscribe to this channel um follow me on instagram um i've also even had to take a break from my instagram content because a video is coming out tomorrow hopefully um because it's just a lot like i said i feel like up here like i have been fighting my demons literally and that is the i'll say that is sometimes the con that comes with being a creative you're constantly the, the biggest battle you're fighting is yourself the biggest battle you're fighting is yourself um but i i'm doing this you know i just have to keep doing this that's just i just have to keep going and um learning and so using other people that have done this as an inspiration for myself but anyway i will catch you lovely people tomorrow um tomorrow i am running some errands for the event i'm also going to drop my flyers downtown fingers crossed but some nice things the truth is that i have shame oh. <laughs> guys i have shame that's the truth <laughs> i have shame um and one thing you should know when you want to do something or when you want to start something is that your shame you have to carry it and put it in the trash can put it in the dustbin because you can't do that you actually can't do that because the truth is that when you want something you have to be audacious about it you have to go with at it with everything in you and sometimes that involves you being shameless so enough yapping on me 10 minutes of yapping what anyway yeah i'll catch you guys tomorrow running capri errands bye loves Just here, I'm prepping for the event. Sorry, I couldn't vlog earlier. It was chaotic, and like I had to go downtown to pick a bunch of stuff from my friend, and then I had to go run errands to do like the food prep. My mate is Josh. I say hi. <laughs> yeah, so Josh is helping me like do a bit of prepping for the event. I'm making like a charcuterie board. I'll show you guys in a bit what it looks like. But that's what we're up to. Uh, nothing more. Nothing too much. The main thing is happening tomorrow. And yeah, I feel like all I've done in this video is talk and talk and talk. Like all my videos, I don't think I've talked this much, but you guys will get it from me. Once in a while, it's good to be happy. You know? But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog so far. And yeah, stay tuned for more action. And apologies if I forget to record <laughs> in between, because it's going to be a madness somewhere in between, so I don't know if I remember to record. But. Don't, don't play with her, don't be the silence hey. Still not understanding this logic hey. I'm back and I'm better I want you bad as ever Don't let me just let up I wanna give you better Baby, it's whatever Somebody gotta step up on that Somebody sound next go Be damn if I let them catch up It's easy to see that you're fit up 
only fuck you over cause you mm, probably does. Hi people, good morning. Um so today is the day, today is the day of our event. Um it's like ten in the morning. Not ten actually, it's like eleven in the morning. And that is the time. I don't know, this light is terrible by the way. That's Uchi fighting for her life. Um <laughs> Um, what do I want to say? What do I want to say? Shit. I've forgotten. I'm blanking. Yes. Um, no, one thing I've noticed is that Vancouver people, they would, they would, let's say, they would test your patience. Because why people buying to get last minute and now, you know, like, I'm trying to figure out, like, I hope we have enough food, hope we have enough, um, like, bikes to go around for the event. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to sort out this morning putting up our last video for promo because it needs to go up at 12 so it makes like a couple minutes of not couple few minutes um and then yeah just putting things together making sure i don't forget anything my friend is going to come later around like 4 p.m to help me move the stuff to the venue and like you saw yesterday i prepped the food with josh and yeah it's going to be a good day like i said i promise not to cry but I promise cannot hold for too long. <laughs> I don't know. Um, hopefully, I actually don't cry because I'm not the crying type, but hopefully, I don't cry. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what well, up to today. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video and stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, and it's raining, by the way. Let me show you. The thing. It's actually raining. Vancouver is actually so disgusting. See, like, why is the weather like this? Every other day, the sun has been shining. Why is the weather this today of all days? I'm actually over the city. I'm I'm just over it's nonsense and bullshit. But anyway, uh, let's get on with the video. The day after my event and yeah we thank god we thank jesus we thank jesus for a fantastic event yesterday was amazing i feel like what's the word i have i felt everything i needed to feel before the event happened and i'm now like on to the next kind of thing but shout out to every single person that came out you guys don't even know how much that meant to me. Like being able to start this and see it come to life. It just showed me that sort of what I'm doing. Let's say I'm doing the right thing to some extent. You know, because half the time, like I said, I don't even know what I'm doing. God is leading me. I'm just moving the direction that God wants me to go. And it was yesterday was nothing short of amazing. Um shout out to my friends that pulled up those that supported me those that um even sent me messages sent me everything like the whole thing like my heart is full i'm very very grateful um like i was having a conversation with a friend yesterday and i was just thinking of like what's next what's next what are we doing next what are we doing next year you know next year i say we're going bigger we're going better i'm scared but I already told you guys this thing we're doing we're doing is scared and we're pushing like that even though we don't know what we're doing half the time but we keep moving um but yeah 
I hope you guys were able to see everything. Um, my videographer is going to send me the highlight video from yesterday, later in the week. And hopefully I will include it into this video before I post it. Or you can check on my Instagram and you will find it. But uh, everything was amazing. You know, your girl had her first event officially. I say brand owner. Officially Capri inspired is my baby. Um, but yeah, yes, it was surreal. I can't even get over it. But like I said, we're just scratching the surface. We're not even where you guys are not even in for the ride that I have for you all. Um, everything that I want to do, like, like we're literally just getting started. And I pray and I hope and literally leaning on God to keep giving me the drive, the resilience, the ideas, the audacity, the confidence, the wisdom, the knowledge to continue to pursue the things I want to pursue, to continue to just go after the things I want to go after, even though, like I said, I'm scared doing it, but I'm doing it scared, and that's something I want you guys to take away, whatever you want to do, whatever you, whatever ideas you have in your head, you may not know how you want to go about it. You may not know what the end looks like. You may not even have the full-fledged idea of what that looks like. But sometimes all you need is just that step. All you need is to start. Like I said, Capri Inspired was supposed to start next year. But I just said, no, let's do this. Like, let me just do it. I was really scared. But like I said, we're doing it scared. But the main thing is we're doing it regardless. And that's all that matters. But yeah, shout out to everyone that came out again um like i said if you're new in the city you're looking for community you're looking for in the creative space um capri inspired is a place to be art meets art meets is just starting and we're going to grow into a bigger wider wider audience and yeah sometimes the things i think of are very scary and like i said if your dreams are not scary to you are you really dreaming big enough <laughs> that kind of thing but yeah anyway let me stop yapping and rambling I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, definitely going to come through more vlogs. So stay tuned for that. You know your girl. I will always be bringing you content. Now that Capri is done, I'm back on. <laughs> nice and regular programming to some extent. Yeah, while well, we're doing work behind the scenes. Well, back to regular programming. And the vlogs are going to be churning out. I feel like I have like the Seattle vlog I've not dropped. I have, at this point, the vlogs I have not dropped a lot. But... They are going to be coming out back to back, back to back, back to back. So stay tuned, stay locked, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, not, not subscribe. I <laughs> can't talk. If you haven't subscribed, all wrong now, all wrong. Check it. Like, look at it, look at it. Just, just check. Look at what you're doing. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't subscribed, um, join the fam. We love to have you here. And like, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Even though half the video is me yapping, but. You guys know you won't get to see me talk like this again. <laughs> but anywho, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. L'Oreal.